Okay, I'm uh, former Congressman Bob Walker. About six years ago, I was um, asked by the president to head up a congressionally chartered uh, commission on the future of the U.S. aerospace industry. Uh, that uh, commission uh, consisted of a broad base of bipartisan uh, leaders uh, in aerospace activities. Uh, and uh, one of the things that we concluded at the end of that study was that the single most important project for the country uh, was to move to a new generation of air traffic control in this country. Uh, and we said so because it, uh, first of all, would assure that air travelers uh, would uh, be in a, in a more efficient, safer system, but would also increase our leadership in the space because a lot of the uh, technology uh, was going to be space-based technology, satellite technology, if you will, uh, that would help uh, automate uh, the overall next-gen system. Uh, and uh, since that time, the uh, FAA and NASA uh, and, uh, to some extent, the military uh, have been working on uh, developing the plans for that next generation of air traffic control system. It's extremely important to the country uh, that uh, the uh, new generation of air traffic control go in place. For one thing, in order to assure air travelers the ability to fly point to point, in other words, instead of flying simply through uh, the air highways that we now uh, have them fly through because those, that's the controlled airspace. Now, under the new system, because it's automated, because it's space-based, you would be able to fly from point to point. If you wanted to fly from Philadelphia uh, to uh, Atlanta, uh, you, would, uh, you would fly point to point. If you wanted to go from Atlanta to Chicago, you would simply fly uh, point to point um, and not have to utilize uh, the air highways. That would allow for um, uh, far more use of, of the available airspace. In addition, the new automated system will allow the airplanes uh, to be in much closer proximity to each other once they arrive at their destination. This will solve a lot of the problems of the scheduling uh, that now takes place. In addition, the new automated system will allow you to fly in almost any kind of weather. And so a lot of the weather delays that are now uh, in place uh, would be eliminated. And so what you have in the next-gen system is the ability for air travelers and for freight travel uh, to move in a vastly more efficient system. Most importantly, it would be a safer system because pilots would be able to see what was going on around them uh, with this system. Uh, the planes would be actually able to be flown uh, automatically if need, if need be yeah, in an emergency. And so you end up with a system that's safer, more efficient, more effective, uh, and it's something that the Congress and the FAA needs to proceed ahead with uh, immediately. Yes, you've got to finance it, and so we've got to figure out some new systems for financing it. Uh, but uh, this is vastly important to us as a country uh, because uh, if we don't move ahead in this arena, I can assure you that the, that the Europeans and others uh, will take leadership in this area. And instead of us being the technical leaders uh, in aeronautics and in space, uh, we will uh, lose that leadership to others. That would be a very bad thing for us as a country. Uh, it would undermine the totality of our aerospace industry. That we can't allow to happen, and we need the new system.